Hello everyone, welcome to our TLEA class, quarter 2, week 2. This week we are going to, 1. Discuss the phases of fish culture. 2. Identify common fishes according to their habitat. Before we begin our lesson, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It's tough not being monetized, and your support would mean a lot to me. By liking and subscribing, you'll help me create even more educational content. If you have any suggestions for improvement, please feel free to comment below. Thank you. For our short review, let us identify whether it is a career or a business opportunities. 1. Fish Handler Very good, it is business opportunity. Number 2. Fish Caretaker Very good, it is career opportunity. Number 3. Research Officer very good, it is career opportunity. Number 4. Aquaculturist. Very good, it is a career opportunity. Number 5. Fish supplier. Very good, it is a business opportunity. Number 6. Fish farm owner. Very good, it is a business opportunity. Number 7. Fishery Technician Very good, it is a career opportunity. Number 8. Fish Wharf Operator Very good, it is a career opportunity. Number 9. Fish Distributor Very good, it is a business opportunity. Number 10. Fish Trader Very good, it is a business opportunity. This time, we're going to have some fun with videos. I will show you some videos, and I want you to guess what they are. Are you ready? Here's the first video. Take a good look. What do you think it is? Raise your hand when you're ready to guess. Very good, these are fish ponds. Number 2. Yes, very good, these are fish cage. Next, number 3. Yes, very good, it is ocean. Next, number 4. Yes, very good, it is river. Next, number 5. Yes, very good, it is lake. Now, the videos shown are examples of what? Yes very good, they are examples of fish habitat. And why is it important for fish to live in their habitat? Yes, very good, for them to grow and reproduce. And what are the ways to reproduce fish and for them to grow? Yes, very good, the ways are fish culture, propagation, cultivation and conservation. And based on our activity what do you think is our lesson today? Yes, very good, our lesson for today are the phases of fish culture. Fish culture embodies the human effort in raising or maintaining the maximum productivity of all bodies of water, and in maintaining fish supply in order to satisfy human needs. To attain these, fish culture has three different aspects namely, fish cultivation, fish propagation, and fish conservation. Here are the phases or aspects of fish culture. 1. Fish cultivation. It is the rearing of fish under controlled or semi-controlled condition. It seeks to produce as high a quantity as possible of graded fish, uniform size, or 2 to produce the most weight. Classifications of fish cultivation are the following. A. Intensive. Utilize limited area with very high investment. B. Extensive. Utilize wide area with minimal capital and very low production. C. Semi-intensive. Employ some or the majority of the modern techniques of production. 2. Fish propagation. It is the process of increasing fish life either by natural or artificial means of reproduction. This means that fish may be allowed to mature and multiply by themselves. Types of fish propagation. A. Natural propagation. Fish reproduce naturally in their habitat through spawning, 
where eggs are fertilized externally or internally. B. Semi-natural propagation, refers to a breeding approach that involves a combination of natural and artificial methods. In this method, fish are allowed to breed in a controlled environment that mimics their natural habitat to some extent, but with some level of human intervention. C. Artificial propagation. This involves human intervention to control the breeding process. It includes methods like stripping eggs and milt, sperm, from fish and then fertilizing the eggs externally. 3. Fish conservation, the scientific means of utilizing fish and other fishery aquatic products, resources. This could be accompanied by observing fishery laws, rules and regulations affecting fishery products. Here's the importance of fish conservation. Conservation and sustainable management of fish biodiversity are essential for the well-being of both aquatic ecosystems and human societies, supporting ecological integrity, economic development, and the cultural heritage tied to these remarkable aquatic creatures. Here are the local endangered species. 1. White Fin Tope Shark, a hound shark of the family Triacidae, found only in the tropical waters of the Philippines between latitudes 20 degrees north and 5 degrees N. They inhabit the coastal areas. They can grow up to a length of 96 centimeters. Adolescent specimens have dark areas on their caudal fins. 2. Hampala lopezi is a species of ray-finned fish in the family Cyprinidae. It is found only in the Philippines. 3. The Sonaropon or Tabios. It is a species of fish in the Gobi subfamily, Gobionellini, and the only member of the monotypic genus Mystichthys. 4. Sardinella tawilis. It is a freshwater sardine found exclusively in the Philippines. It is the only member of the genus Sardinella known to exist entirely in fresh water. Locally, they are known in Filipino as Tawilis. 5. Barboza marus, known as the pate locally, was a species of cyprinid fish endemic to Lake Lanao in Mindanao, the Philippines. This species reached a length of 10.8 centimeters. Now let's talk about fish sanctuary. Fish sanctuary means to establish and maintain a particular area in the water body as a permanent shelter for protection of fish for natural propagation. Some examples of fish sanctuaries in the Philippines are the following. Papu, Daydig, Marine Sanctuary, Santo Rosario Marine Sanctuary, Ayala, San Ramon Tourist Zone and Marine Reserve etc. For the open and end season, fishing in the northeast Palawan shall be closed from November to January. The Visayan Sea will be closed from November 15 to February 15, and the Zamboanga Peninsula closes from December 1 until March 1 of every year. The practice of a closed season for fishing is defined by the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998, as amended in 2015, as the period during which the taking of specified fishery species by a specified fishing gear is prohibited in a specified area or areas in Philippine waters. Closed fishing season helps important fish species to reproduce or spawn, fry and juvenile fishes to mature, and fish stocks to recover. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR, said in its Fish Files magazine in 2021. Here are the classification of fish according to their habitat. 1. Marine or open sea fishes. Marine or seawater fishes are those that primarily inhabit oceans and seas with high salinity levels. Examples are tuna, cod, salmon, flounder, mackerel, swordfish, sardines, etc. 2. Freshwater fishes are inland fishes. These fish species primarily inhabit rivers, lakes, ponds, and streams with low salinity levels. Examples include trout, bass, catfish, and carp. 3. Brackish water fishes are estuarine fish. Estuarine fish live in the transition zone between freshwater and saltwater, such as estuaries and brackish water habitats. Examples include flounder, striped bass, and mullet.